everybody, Junior here from the Valley Hoop. Today we're out here in Key Biscayne, Florida, and we're gonna show you how it's done with the Valley Hoop. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you all the new products and how they work. First of all, we're gonna start with our chum. We're already out on the spot. We got our, valley, our chummy hoop mini, and we got our chummy hoop large. So the 25 pound blocks, and for the seven pound blocks. That's something new coming that we're gonna show you how it works today. We finally got them in. Bally hoop chum bomb and the bally hoop bobber. I'm gonna put these things to the test so you guys see how it works. Aluminum collapsible bally hoop. Okay, so this is a four feet by two feet unit. It's made out of aluminum with stainless steel ferrules. So it's a two piece unit. You open it up, bring the unit out. For those of you that are always asking questions, how do you put it together? Okay, we're gonna demonstrate all that, guys. So this is the aluminum model bally hoop. Okay, basically you bring it down, push in the rods, and they connect. Okay, that's the aluminum. Very simple, very easy to attach. It's a two feet by four feet circle, so depending on the size of the boat is the unit. This is the entry model one, our first gen of the aluminum collapsible belly hoop. Very simple. Put it away, we got a storage bag. Put it one in first, and then just push it into the bag, and you're all set with this unit. They all basically do the same function. The differences between all the units is the materials they're made out of and how they collapse. All right, so that's our aluminum valley hoop. Now we're gonna go to our stealth model, which is six foot long bag. The cool thing about this unit is this translucency in the frame, okay? For those of people who ask the questions, what are the differences? Okay, so this frame is completely translucent, meaning that it's clear. So for a lot of those baits that are finicky, like the Speedos, the cigars and all that, this unit tends to work a little bit better than the rest of the units because of that. So this unit, take it apart, and the way to put it together, it's very simple. Once you open it, push down on the rods. Let me move back to the side of the boat real quick so we can get this going. So, push down on it and put them together. They're all the same diameter. They're all four feet in circumference. So the difference between this unit is the frame. Translucency in the frame, okay? Take it apart, you push down on it. Both sides. The cool, you cool cool unique feature on this one is remember keep in mind is the frame and this one stores in a long versus instead of a round circle stores in a long bag so if anybody needs coffins or under gunnels and stuff like that this unit works really good for you guys so put it away you just wrap it up they're all made out of monofilament the difference is the way they collapse and the frame materials are made out of. So this one comes in a straight bag, six foot by approximately six inches wide. For all these questions and all these frequently asked questions, you can also contact us at theballyhoop.gmail.com or visit us online on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. Okay, so that's our stealth model, guys. Six feet long, six inches wide. Now we're going to go to our next gen, which is the flex model. This is called our flex model. This is a two foot unit. Comes in a round bag with its own zipper. Open it up. This unit in particular is very nice. It's very easy to store away and to open. Just hold on to the frame and it opens right up. So guys, it's got 316 ferrules on each side, both of them. You're gonna put your hands on the ferrules when it comes time to putting it away, and you're gonna do this. Push it in, and it automatically turns. I'm gonna do that again. Push it in, and it automatically turns. You're gonna grab it with one hand, and you're gonna do this. Okay, let it go. It opens up, keep your hands here all the time, and open it. This is the flex model. So they're all, repeat again, it's four feet in circumference, 
and this one becomes a two foot circle when you put it away. So it works on a lot of the boats. One hand, close it up, done. The flex model. We'll do that one more time. If you notice, look at the ferrules. The ferrules, they intertwine inside each other. Okay? So they're spinning inside each other. That's why they do that action. And then you close it up. Always put the sock in it. Hold it with both hands. And let's put it back in the bag. Today we're gonna to show you guys how they work. Every single unit, we're gonna put them into a test so you guys can see it with different baits. What baits do they catch? It can catch pretty much, if you get it in your chum, in your chum slick, you can catch it. Cigars, Speedos, Pilchards, all kinds of baits, all different areas and different conditions, you're gonna catch bait. You notice everybody around us, we're in a good spot for baits. We've been out chumming for a little bit, so in a little while, we have the chum bags out. We're gonna put these units to the test so you can see how they work. The flex model. All right, guys, so coming soon to the Miami Boat Show is our new addition to the Ballyhoop family, the Ballyhoop Blade. What are the differences? Okay, so first of all, size, 24 versus 18 fraction of the size and another cool feature of this new blade which is called the blade is the frame so no more round frame now we've gone to a flat bar frame which is what's exactly going to do it's going to cut through the water a lot easier and a lot faster to be able to retrieve it this unit took me a while to create but i got it to the perfection which it is right now if you notice there's three circles there this unit folds within to itself three times so very simple to open it you let it go and it opens right up you notice the frame is flat that's the cool new feature on this you have to stay tuned for this unit how to collapse so this unit in particular you want to fold it in put it under your arms bring it towards you and it folds right into three circles a little difficult at the beginning but once you get it done for the first time it becomes simple, so you just match up the little circles, and you're all set. No more water bottle, guys. No what do you mean, though? Bottles. What was the water bottle used for? The water bottle was used to float the units out when there was no current. Like on a day like today, that we have no current. Make it easier on us, because when there's no current, what happens? The unit tends to sink. So here's the bobber. You're going to open up the snap swivel, okay? And you're going to attach the snap swivel to your frame. Put it through the frame and you're gonna close up your snap, okay? So now we have the valley hoop bobber. No more water bottles. It's gonna attach to the frame, so check this out. I'm gonna put it in the water just to give you a demonstration of how it works. There it is, guys. See that? Straight up and down. Cool, huh? Okay, so that's a quick demonstration of what the valley hoop bobber is gonna do for you. Introducing the valley hoop Chum bottle. This little piece of device is going to help us catch our bait even easier by putting in chum. If you notice, we have holes on the bottom side and we have holes on the top side. Also have a lid, which is going to be removable. You unscrew it, voila, and you open it. So how this is going to work? All right, very simple. We're going to put our product in there, which is basically fish pellets. These fish pellets will start to dissolve with water. So the minute they get into the water, they start to let out the chum slick. The water goes through the top, forces the chum out through the back in the current. Where is this gonna go attached and how is it gonna attach? Same concept. It's got a snap swivel. So this snap swivel is gonna go attached to your valley group. Where? Okay, so if you notice, we have a swivel right here, okay? That's where all your strings are to attach to your frame. So, valley hoop bobber, voila. Open up the snap swivel. You're gonna attach this to the swivel right here and you're gonna lock it in place. 
So if you notice it, it's already in action right there. Now we're gonna show you how to introduce the chum into it and let's get this bad boy to work. Here we go. All right guys, so step one, very important, we're gonna get our chum in the water. So you notice here we got a 25 pound block of chum that's gonna go into our uh, chummy hoop, the large chummy hoop with the bigger hose. And then we have the seven pounder, which is a tournament chum. It's gonna go into our smaller bag. So we basically use this one for the bait. We use that one for fishing, but today we're gonna put them both in the water. We're gonna start tracking the bait. So watch this. First thing you do, make sure you uh, attach it to your chum bag to the boat. Don't forget that guys, because a lot of people put it in the water and they forget to attach it to the boat. So we get there. All right, seven pound block of chum. You notice I don't really touch it, I don't get dirty. I bring it in, in the chum bag over here. Put the box in it. All right, you wanna make sure that you pull on it so that it falls into the bag and then just put it in there, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go to our 25 pound block. Same thing, make sure you attach it to the boat. Don't forget that, very important. It's happened before. All right, on a 25 pound block of chunk killer bait. Very simple, I'm gonna open it up. It comes in a bag, guys, okay? So just Break the box. Very simple so you don't get dirty. Grab the bag. Bring it in. Just drop the bag inside. Okay, make sure it's inside. Remember, the more you chum, the more that's going to come. Keep that in mind all the time. A lot of people want to be... Conservative. Conservative, yes, on the chum. And if you don't chum, nothing's gonna come. Keep that in mind. Same thing, pull it up. This bag is not designed to be yanking and pulling on it, guys. Keep in mind it's rubber. And the fact that we made it out of rubber so nothing sticks to it, okay? That's what it keeps it clean. So make sure you do this. Your chum sits there and just let it out. We are filling up the chum bomb. Check it out, value bobber in place, chubs all over the place. We're gonna get rid of those now. We're gonna put it in and drop it back. Value are in the back, chubs are in the front. It's gonna float for a minute until it gets full of water. That's it, starting to go down. If you notice the value is starting to come straight. Look at the chubs behind it, oh boy. We don't need chubs, oh, we got chubs in the net. Ah, come on, get out, get out guys. Okay, they're out, they're out. This is a problem when we have these uh, chubs coming around, but. Hopefully they'll keep away. This is the durability test of the valley hoop. For everybody saying that you guys messed up, here's some bigger chubs, baits. Yeah. Get out, get out. There you go.
Holy. Here we go. We got Evan live on the blade. Let's see, Evan. Woo! All right, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Evan. Guys, check this well out. Look at this. Look at this. Do you need more ballyhoo? Do you really need more ballyhoo? Look at this horse. Look at this horse. Look at this. Are these ballyhoos or are these horses? 